Today we're going to be heading out here on Rancho del Arroyo and we're going to be hunting with the muzzleloader. Now the muzzleloader I've hunted with many many times, however I've never hunted with the round balls. But like any new weapon that you get, before you go out hunting you should definitely head to the target range first and make sure you know how it shoots. So we're out here, we have our target set at about 150 yards, we can only zero in for 109, so we're going to have to hold just a little bit high. All right, all right, I think I can deal with that. I think I could definitely deal with that. <laughs> I like it. So I've been walking up in these mountains here and I had a pretty good clue that there might be some nice muleys in this area. And sure enough, all of a sudden I came across this massive herd of bedded bucks. They were right there. And that right there is one of the smallest bucks, but there's quite a few bucks in this herd of muleys here. I'll show you where we're at in one second, but uh, this is a pretty cool location. And there he goes right there as a matter of fact. He's about 230 yards away. He should eventually spin back around and work his way this direction here. But right now we kind of just got to sit here and wait and hope that he comes back this way. Because remember, the round balls are probably not going to have a ton of penetration. And just like that, here he comes. So we got a super small buck right there and a doe right there. But this is definitely the biggest buck in this area. All right, so he's probably going to come past this little funnel here, which is going to put him at about 100 yards out. So we better back up a little bit so we can get a better angle here. And he should be coming through right about... Okay, that's going to be him right there. He's 100 yards out and he's actually going to step out right there there's no shot though there is no shot right there and if he would just walk over left a little bit we could take that shot Ooh. we're taking it all right guys we just took our first shot with the muzzleloader and the round balls on a good buck. Well, I suppose let's go down there and go find out. Oh my God, look what's laying right here. Look what's laying right here. We took the shot right here and I was gonna go look for blood right down there. And all of a sudden we run right into our buck, our first buck down with the muzzleloader and the round balls right here. That's pretty sweet. And he is in fact gonna be a gold 224.2. And we took him at 105 yards out, so made a pretty awesome shot, hit exactly where he aimed, and uh, yeah, it definitely got a single lung, which brought down a nice gold muley buck. You know, it never fails. Every single time I get to a spot where I think there should be animals, and then I start to run because I don't see anything, all of a sudden we jump up a couple of big bucks, and right there is a very impressive muley, and then there's another one right there. Both these bucks are very, very good bucks. Oh, hold up. We just picked up a track from a max weight muley that's not going to be the same buck or any of the bucks that we just saw. So maybe these two bucks led us to an even bigger buck. Because both those bucks were not max weight. I mean, yeah, they're very impressive muleys, but this buck here is a max weight buck. So in fact, he should be even bigger. And we might have just jumped him up right over there. Because there's a bunch of muley taken off over there. But there's a really, really good chance we should be able to take him from out here. Because look at the view that we can see from here. Look at this view. Alright. There is no way you're getting away this time. There is just no way. Jackpot. There you are. 150 yards out. Let's get on him. We held a bit high, but I think that was perfect. We took a 150 yard shot before at the target range and that's about where we held it. I'm not seeing a ton of movement over there, guys. You know, typically what you want to do after you take a shot is watch the little openings in the valley for movement and I'm not seeing any movement, which is an awesome sign. Ooh, remember there was two good bucks in here and the other one is right there. Let's see if we can't get on him. He's 160 yards out. I do not want to take a front on shot, so we're going to go prone and let him kind of work his way in a little bit closer. All right, come on. It looks like we have a good wind, 
So he should come into range. Oh, but that is. I think we smoked him. That should have been an awesome shot. And I didn't see him come out of this brush. Last I saw him, he was running right there. <laughs> Look at that. He's piled up right there. 90 yards out exactly where I last saw him. Piled up right there. And the other buck that we took a shot at, we shot him like right there. And the last I saw him was going this way. So we'll have to go over there and go check that out as well. But let's get down here and grab our two couple of really nice bucks. All right, here's going to be the second buck that we just got. Another gold, a nice right lung shot at 76 yards out. You can see kind of the elevation of the shot there going directly downwards. And we centered the lung almost perfectly. Now, we still have the track from that max weight buck over here, which I'm going to put a mark on it. But uh, right now, we're going to go over here and pick up this first big buck that we got. This guy here should be a good one. He had a minimum of like 224, which is guaranteed gold. And we took the shot right here. And there's a buck laying right here. So it must have been a pretty amazing shot. But here he is. He's got a sweet looking rack as well. A 241 gold. Man, I don't think I've seen this rack. He's got a crab claw too. Oh, that sucker's definitely getting mounted. Man, that might be one of the most realistic, coolest looking mule deer that I've seen in Call of the Wild here in quite some time. But we took a 150 yard shot. We didn't have as much drop as I really thought we would, but still, I mean, realistically, you got to realize we're kind of high up on that hill there. So with the angle, we probably would have exited, you know, right through pretty much the middle of the lung. So it was a perfect shot and we got enough penetration to bust through that shoulder weight as well. And that sucker is definitely getting mounted because he's so unique looking. So let's get him mounted. So we decided to come back and look for that giant max weight muley. We've yet to see him, but I got a pretty good feeling this time might be different oh yeah there he is <laughs> uh well we did find a buck but it's clearly not the one that we're looking for well it's not our big buck however it is a max weight gobbler and he's down potential as well so i do think we're gonna try and take him down with the hawk edge bow and the 300 grain arrows because the muzzleloader is just a touch big for this gobbler yeah because you can see him right there at 130 and he's directly in front of us here we can pretty much see him the entire time as we're sneaking up on him which is kind of the ultimate setup when you're sneaking up on a big animal like this yeah i mean he's right there 120 yards out from us so if we could take a 100 yard shot i would definitely go for it but 100 yards is a little bit too far for the bow so my goal is to get to at least 80. i mean 60 would be ideal but at least 80. What I'm saying is, if you look at the wind, it's blowing directly towards this gobbler. So there's no way we're going to get closer than 60 yards to this thing. That's why I'm thinking 80 yards should be definitely doable. I mean, what a perfect setup though. Aside from the wind, this is kind of a perfect setup. Okay, we're 90 yards out from that gobbler right there. And I think we're going to let one fly. Right here, we'll get a little bit of cover. So when we crouch up can take the shot okay we gotta take the shot drilled him drilled him 90 yards out we smoked him oh heck yeah and he's down oh man he was getting a little bit spookish and uh the problem is i tried to crouch up so we could get full cover but when i crouched up we didn't have full cover and these turkeys have incredible eyesight so he spotted us and he was getting very very nervous he turned away to basically trot off but by the time he thought about it we already let one fly and we smoked him at 90 yards with the bow all right here he lays right here let's take a look at this massive gobbler Awesome, we'll take a cool picture and let's pick him up. Oh, what a heck of a shot. We drilled him right in the vertebrae, <laughs> right in the back of the neck. Oh man. I mean, honestly, that shot right there was money. 4.4 gold and he was a light brown as well. That's pretty sweet. He was a max weight light brown gobbler. Um, he's not exactly a rare, but because I do believe that's probably our farthest perfect shot on a gobbler, I mean, you could argue and say like, yeah, we didn't hit lung, but at the same time, 
That's an awesome shot. You're going to drop a gobbler like that at 90 yards. We're getting him mounted. We're definitely getting him mounted. And not only that, I've been looking for this thing for a little while just because I kind of wanted to find out what a light brown really looked like. Okay guys, so as we were looking for that giant muley, I spotted a massive white tail buck trotting off in the distance around 250 yards out. Now, I could not get a shot. However, I got on his track and I've been tracking him for at least an hour now. But guess what? I found out where he's at. He is right there. What a beautiful white tail buck. He's bedded out there 115 yards away from us. So he's definitely in range. But we don't really have a shot from this angle. So what we could try and do is put out a couple calls in hopes that he turns around and stands up. If he doesn't, then we'll probably just try and get his attention and see if he turns around. So idea number two would be to take kind of a random shot over there and see if we can't get him to stand up. Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. I think it worked. We smoked him. And not only that, we dropped him right in his tracks. That right there is our first official drop shot. And we happen to do it on a massive white tail buck. Heck yeah. What do we got coming through right here? We got another buck coming through here as well. And I figured we might as well try and take a shot on him. And apparently we made a pretty good shot as well. Because <laughs> he's laying right here. Take a look at that. How do we do? Nice stomach, left lung, liver shot at 52 yards dropped him. But here is our big old white tail buck, a 213 gold, and it looks like a single lung at under 100 yards will drop them with a perfect lung shot, but a beautiful white tail, 213. I tried so many times to find that giant buck, and for some reason, I just can't figure out where in the heck he is. We do have a very, very nice buck here. In fact, he's a or like a 230 or 240s buck right there, 200 plus, but obviously he's not max weight, so he's not exactly the buck that we're trying to find. However, if he does give us a good shot, we'll probably take it because he's a very, very nice buck. Quartering just a tad bit too much for my comfort. And that's definitely not gonna work either. So I'm kind of hoping he turns. Perfect. How far did I say he was? Man, I really hope he was. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that was perfect. What I was going to say is I hope I didn't say that he was 170 plus because I held for about 130, which means I didn't really hold high enough for a 150 plus yard shot, but I think he was like 130 exactly. So it worked out perfectly. Yeah, he was pretty much 130. Awesome. All right, so even though we got a good buck down, I still want to be very cautious because the other giant could be over here. In fact, I feel like he's got to be over here because I've checked literally this entire surrounding here. If you look, you can just see all these rest zones. These are all from pretty much mule deer, turkey, or whitetail. And I couldn't find him in any single location here. So I feel like he's got to be drinking here somewhere. And jackpot. We found him. Holy, he's a giant buck. Look at him right there. Luckily, he wasn't any closer to that shot because if he was even like 30 yards closer, he probably would have bolted and spooked from that shot. We're right up on top of the middle here. And this buck is, I mean, in a pretty good spot for us to be able to take a shot. We are about 140, so we're definitely in range, but I just want to get a little more broadside and try and get to maybe like 120 or 130. So we don't have like a ton of drop with our bullet. All right, well, we definitely got his attention. Now we just gotta wait for him to turn back. Oh, that was almost too perfect. And we almost messed it up too, because if I would have taken that shot while he was spinning, it would have been not good. I don't even think it's possible to take a front on heart shot with this thing. Just because of the lack of penetration. 
Oh man, that could have been bad. Let's try and get his attention again. All right, come on, big buck. Just give me a shot. Come on. Oh, that was money. We were not messing around that time, guys. We were not messing around. Oh man, that was perfect. We timed it just right as he was spinning and I held right for the heart. So if anything, we'd hit the heart instead of hitting too high and oh man. I think we got him. It's looking pretty good. I see some nice blood right there, guys. Yeah, really good blood. Where'd he run off to now? Looks like he ran this way, huh? All right, we got good blood, good blood, and I see a buck down. Here he is down right over here. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, the giant buck is finally down. Man, do you realize how long it took to find this buck? We found his track and then we kept losing him and I couldn't figure out where he went. Finally, we came back here during mule deer drink time and we found a 257.40 gold muley buck and we took him at 122 yards and man, did we absolutely smoke that thing. Couldn't have made a better shot if we tried. What a perfect shot. And on that note, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And again, thank you so much for the support. You guys are all incredible people, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. You guys thought I was going to forget about that thing, didn't you? Okay. We're going to attempt to catch the lower left lung. Here we go. I honestly don't even know where to aim. I'm thinking like maybe spine? Top of the lung maybe? Apparently not there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we didn't even come close. Okay. Well. <laughs>